story to tell. Iran's Tuznim News Agency reported on February 9 that the country unveiled a new missile with a range of up to 1,450 kilometers, named Kibar Shekin. With such a range, the Kibar Shekin can completely reach both U.S. bases in the region and targets inside its archfoe Israel. The long-range ballistic missile was showcased during the visit of top Iranian military officials to the missile base of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The new missile is propelled by solid fuel, and is capable of penetrating into missile shields with high maneuverability during the landing stage. The modified design of Kaibar Shekin has reduced its weight by a third compared to the similar missiles, while its preparation time for launch has decreased to one-sixth of the ordinary ones. The other distinguishing features of the new ballistic missile are its agility and high velocity in hitting the targets. The missile that was unveiled looked similar to the Desfool but with a re-entry vehicle that tapered more steeply into a warhead section that was partly cylindrical rather than entirely conical. The report said the missile has high accuracy, is manufactured completely domestically, and can defeat missile shield systems. The information has not been independently verified. Israel's closest point to Iran is some 1,000 kilometers away. The report comes as negotiations continue in Vienna to revive Tehran's tattered nuclear deal with world powers. Iran, which has long said it does not seek nuclear weapons, insists its missile program is only a deterrent. Earlier in January, Iran tested an engine for a solid-fuel rocket designed to launch satellites. Satellite carriers usually use liquid fuel but solid fuel rockets can be adapted for mobile launchers that can be driven anywhere on a major road or rail system. Pure solid fuel rockets are mostly associated with ballistic missiles systems.